Yeah, the top chain roller. So it's a 10 millimeter bolt here. This one's the easier of the two. So you just take the bolt out. And the BMW rollers need to be lubed, except the thing is they're really cheap. So I bought an aftermarket roller that I'm going to install, I hope. So this is a BMW roller. It's a couple of pieces of rubber, and I normally stuff grease in there, and this thing just kind of wallows around with a bunch of grease in it, and it doesn't seem to be to be a very efficient uh, rolling mechanism. So I bought this uh, MSR. There's another one that's available. Uh, this particular one is uh, part number 239915 is black. They come in colors. I tried to get a blue one and a red one, but the place I wanted to buy them couldn't, couldn't order them, so went with this one. So you can see it's, uh, it's about the same thickness and it uses the same bolt, even though it comes with a bolt, and you can see that it's got bearings in it. So this is going to roll a lot better. I'm going to have to get some washers to make up the difference in the thickness. Okay. All right, so I used a, a couple, two washers on the side with the head of the bolt, and, uh, and and one additional washer, and that's the original washer that was on the other side of the bolt when I removed the old roller. And now I'm just going to screw this original bolt right back in there. Okay, let's turn on. This is the bottom roller, so what I'm going to do is get a 13 millimeter wrench on the nut and remove the bolt. And this is also the brake pivot bolt. So this gets kind of interesting because there's some washers and stuff in here. You got to make sure you don't lose anything. Okay, got the got the nut out, and there's the bolt washer bolt all the way out, and now. Here's the roller. A lot of parts here. Okay, so for this roller, I'm just going to lube it. You can see that this one doesn't get hit by the chain much because this is the lower roller. So I'm just going to clean it and re-lubricate it. Okay. So. All right, so I need to get some grease on this thing. Just going to use some. Uh, Chassis grease, nothing special, and having sort of cleaned it out, gotten the grit out of it, hopefully I can get a bunch of more miles off it before I have to change it with one of those nice rollers like I put on the top. So I'll grease it up, right, and this goes back on the brake pedal. Like that, which I have to wiggle in. This is all lubricated. I'm going to slip this in here. I'm going to hook the spring back up to the loop on the frame and get the, the uh, actuator rod, which I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the tip of the brake cylinder actuator rod and shove this little guy up in here. Okay. Now I'm going to get this bolt in from the outside. All right, so I got the bolt in. I'm going to put the washer and the nut back on and tighten it up, and that's good to go. Like the center.